my garage door opener craftsman half uh, horsepower here it is i just took the case out with like it has like uh, one two three um another one another screw here and here and on the other side i started um shutting i mean it's the light was flickering and but it's just the power flickering the whole power and it's not a consistent flickering or or it's like it the problem that it had it was like it would the door would stop right right through in the middle and the light would flicker and then also another symptom would be like this light would disappear which of course it's off right now because i shut it down and so so i disconnected power disconnected power from it first of all uh, initially I thought it was the light bulb which is a GE LED light bulb but this one doesn't emit the frequency that in that could intercept the antenna signal but this wasn't really an antenna issue uh, or the garage door not closing or not opening it was that the power would be off so I also disconnected the back panel which is like this and you just disconnect this thing from the top it's co-connected from the top the three cables that are here in the back there those three that when you actually remove the screws from the top one two three four five this is what you get so that's where the connector was and the three connectors for the cable so once you have this out um i thought the issue here was which i think i'm, I'm right i'm having fixed it yet uh, the issue was that is some there is a, what is called a cold solder here on the side on the back side and that is why when this started happening when they had cold nights and um so what i've done is connect uh, checked all those solders and i'll show you another video about it what you have to do is put the board on a, when you have a lot of light and then use something like this you don't have to go crazy with it look you have this is like a macro lens for an iphone so simple as that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this lens like this on my iPhone. Here I'm going to go with all the way to the lens. Let me check. Yep, it's on top of the lens now. There. Now I'm going to get really close. And here you go. You can start seeing things a lot clearer. It's a lot easier than seeing with your eyes. So then I started inspecting mostly the 10 connectors. Let me, let me remove this. This 10 connectors that you see on the screen, one, two, three, four, five, 10, they are that correspond to the transformer. The, two, the 120 to 22 alternate current, which if I'm losing power, that's pretty much where the power is coming in and coming out. So. I started looking over there and you'll see it. Voila. I start checking one by one. That one seems decent. Eh, decent. Good. 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 Let's start here now. Hairline issues. Most likely that's an issue. This is a, like a 20 years old garage. Maybe. Another maybe. But the real easy one to tell is here. That's a problem. So now I'm gonna work on soldering that one. This is how it looks after I solder all of them. Actually, this, this was the bad one. And let me see, now it looks better. And I resolder. That was bad too, and I resolder all of them just in case, all 10. Because if I was losing power, 
the power should be lost from the very beginning of when it's supplied, which is this component here. So we'll see if that fixes it. Okay, now I'm gonna put it back together. Make sure you route the antenna through that hole. And these three go in there. And here, now we're gonna put back five screws. This is one, two, three, four, I think this one. Okay, now that we put the circuit board bar to the back part, the plastic bar, now we're gonna reroute through this hole these three cables, knowing which one will go square, right? I know this one is one, two, and three, like that. Now, I can do it here. I think it's easier to do it now. No, 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 the other part is come, come over here. It's to connect this one on top of that here. I'm not sure. And here we go. It's done. Once you have that, that, done all that, now you have to put the plastic back, back to the metal here and this screws over here. Now that I have the back cover and everything connected, electronically speaking, um, I'm going to connect the power back on and see if it works. Uh. Okay, light came up. That's a good sign. I have power. Now let's check if I do have light in here. Yep, I do. So let's, it works. No flickering, thank God. I'm gonna try it a few times and then I'm gonna leave it open. Yeah, there's no, actually no flickering at all. This used to really flicker a little bit. No, nothing at all. That's interesting. So, so now I'm gonna leave it just open like that. I'm not gonna put the cover because I'm gonna keep an eye on it for a few days to see if it continues flickering. If it's not, I just put the cover back on and call it a day. I just wanted to finish that this garage opener that we just fixed was, it's a Craftman Sears Robic. You can see it all that here. And this is exactly how it looks behind and all that. I hope this helps you and like it drove me crazy. This was like, most likely like cold solder. I'll keep an eye for a few days. Bye-bye.